Hey everyone, it's Brie. I'm back with another scrapbook process video for the Simple Stories design team. And I'm going to be working with the Here and There collection, which is a travel theme collection. And I love it so much. This color palette is so fun. Um, I just had a lot of fun working with it. So I was immediately inspired by this 12 by 12 paper. It is uh, called Travel Therapy. And I love the stripes and I thought it would be fun to have the stripes go vertical, but I also wanted to add one more pattern paper behind it just because I liked a lot of the pattern so much that I wanted to just include another one. So I'm just going to quickly go through the papers and I ended up choosing this one and I'm going to use a piece of white textured cardstock as my base <laughs> as usual. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and get those two pieces adhered down. So I am going to be documenting two photos of me. One is holding, of course, a Starbucks cup. I mean, when I travel, I just love to, you know, treat myself and get a Starbucks drink. So that is in the Dallas airport. And then the photo of me taking a selfie is when I landed in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So uh, I taught at the She Loves Color event in 2022 in October. So I thought it'd be fun to document these photos. I don't think I've documented these yet. So um, this collection was perfect. So what I'm doing is I've taken a couple chipboard frames and I've used them as a base and I'm going to go ahead and layer my photos and embellishments right on top. So I matted my photos using the six by eight paper pad and then I'm going through the journal bits pack, pulling out a few elements that I wanted to use. And I found these super cute, like tiny tags. Oh my gosh. I love them so much. Um, one says getting there is half the fun. And then the other one says the journey starts here. So I, I put the journey starts here on the one with the coffee and then um, the other one is getting there is half the fun. I put that where when I actually w was at my destination. So I added some string to each of those tags. God, they're, honestly, they're so cute. I love smaller elements, especially because my favorite thing is to is to like tuck and layer uh, ephemera pieces or journaling um, bits. And so those tags were perfect because they like look so nice just layered right on top. Um, so because I had the string on the tags down at the bottom, I thought it would be fun just to add some string up at the top where those two patterns um, meet. Now, okay, I have to tell you, I cut out maybe a minute of my footage because I could not decide what my title was going to be. There are so many cute foam stickers on the foam sticker sheet. Um, and I really wanted to use all of them as a title and I couldn't decide. So, um, I ended up going with Let's Fly Away, and it's a smaller title, but I thought it fit perfectly right on my photo. So I'll get to that in just a second. But um, when I pulled out the foam stickers, I just wanted to, you know, let you know that I've struggled for a little bit <laughs> trying to choose my title. Um, so there, that's me putting it there. So of course, when it comes to stripes, I love to embellish tone on tone. I think it's so fun. It gives you an opportunity to use a lot of your elements, um, maybe elements that you wouldn't necessarily use. Um, but because this collection is so gorgeous and there's so many different like icons, I didn't have any problem finding um, pieces to you know, go on the coordinating color spots. So I have, this, I pulled out some floral bits. I pulled out um, the bits and pieces pack. I use the decorative brads. I use a couple foam stickers. Um, what else did I use? I use a sticker book just to layer. Right now I'm using the decorative brads and getting those on. Um, I just love, uh, I think it's so fun embellishing tone on tone or doing like monochromatic layouts. I love doing monochromatic layouts. I think it's just a lot of, you get to be creative and then you also get to use up some of those bits that maybe you wouldn't use in a normal layout. Um, but because I don't know, maybe it's just our brain tricking us where, you know, you need a yellow. So you kind of just layer it and it works. And, um, yeah, I don't know if that makes any sense, but <laughs> some of those pieces that you normally wouldn't use, you can just throw on there and it really makes sense. So I see, I was obsessed with those foam stickers. I still am. I think there's a lot of fun pieces on there and maybe because there's a lot of, a lot of smaller elements on there as well why I would just kept gravitating more towards those foam stickers and trying to add more um, to my page. Um, so here is me adding a few circular stickers from the sticker book, uh, adding just, you know, just tucking in some here. I know it, the phrase is like, go see do, but because of the color placements, mine is um, 
what does it see go and, and do and it works it's fine <laughs> uh so i think i'm pretty much done i am going to add some enamel dots or i already did to finish it off and then i'm just going to show you a lot of the layers and i'm as i'm looking at this i realized i didn't add tangled thread which is funny to me or white splatters um that's totally not you know it's usually my last <laughs> my last thing so anyways here are some up close shots um i hope you like this process this collection is so fun and it's perfect to document any of your traveling memories so thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye